boom, Bank of America is added to the RippleNet website. I'm wondering if this is because the court case is finally behind us and now we are ready to go with US banks. They are not afraid, they're not worried because this is all said and done. I wonder what other US banks are going to start adding that to the list. Chine Star Shine Grabber also put in here. I wanted to read one of these things here to you. And not with these new XRP, let's establish some facts. A limited supply of less than 100 billion. Each ledger transaction destroys or burns a portion of XRP. As we know, XRP is dirt cheap today because almost all trading is in small public pool of existing money. That's essentially wash trading back and forth through retail. The public supply is important because that determines the price today. XRP market cap is, you know, very low. Obviously, this is from 2022, but it does speak very highly. Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, etc. will not use ODL as you know it. If you think Chase is going to rely on Kraken or Binance to source public exchanges for trillions of dollars in global transfers, I have a nice igloo in Florida to sell you, which I thought was pretty funny. XRP will become a reserve currency asset. Remember from Ripple, from Ripple banks holding XRP, that's the holy grail. There's 10,000 banks in the SWIFT system. Imagine if each bank decided to hold XRP as a reserve asset. Bank of America will, will create a private ledger and hold XRP as a reserve asset, like how central banks will hold gold as a backing asset. Bank of America creates a BOA, Bank of America coin, an XRP derivative internally for tracking balances and its users. And remember, now they're in the stablecoin market. They could create a Bank of America stablecoin. All right, so this is from Black Swan Capitalist. Prepare for a market shift as assets surge in emerging markets and digital assets ripple is at the forefront of change with xrp and bridging into this new settlement mechanism it's based on transactions so his high number moved scale to xrp being a million dollars xrp being in that 60 cent range where it's appropriately priced for the number of transactions it could do right now they haven't done they're still keeping it at 1500 because that keeps the price of XRP in that 60 cent range. Imagine what would happen if XRP reached a million dollars. Like, what would you do? Like, how much money would you have? Like, if you have a thousand XRP or 10,000 XRP, or maybe you're a freaking whale where you have 500,000 XRP, you are the new richest person in the world. We don't know if this is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, but we all believe in this technology and we all believe that in years to come, that blockchain technology will be used in all banks, financial institutions to move value. So this is from the great crypto eerie here. She says, Shisonome, Shish, I'm gonna fuck this up, excuse me. Shishonome Shikunu Bank. We actively incorporate the latest financial technologies such as Ripple's distributed ledger technology, fast international remittances services support in 12 languages, beautiful bank interior so here's what the bank looks like awesome all right ripple ceo ripple brad garlinghouse says some of the creators of the xrp ledger actually have been early engineers that worked on bitcoin we all you know there's people that always thought that you know people like arthur brito and david schwartz were the original designers of bitcoin they saw some flaws in bitcoin and that's why they decided to create the xrp ledger because they want banks and institutions to use it that is where all the money fo is is folks don't let your friends bullshit you and tell you that crypto is just retail. You know, we don't want banks and institutions. If you want to become a millionaire and hold crypto assets, you need you need trillions and trillions of dollars to come in. Make no mistake. Me, you, and the guy next to you, we don't have trillions of dollars to put into this stuff, but institutions do. Real estate, stocks, bonds, derivatives, all of that amazing things, equities, all of that value needs to come onto ledgers, and that is how we go to Valhalla. Let me play this. Joe, I will correct one thing right out of the gates. Ripple did not actually issue XRP. The XRP ledger is an open source decentralized technology, not dissimilar to Bitcoin. And some of the creators of the XRP ledger actually had been early engineers that worked on Bitcoin, and they saw some of the scalability problems that Bitcoin is likely to have, the speed both from a energy consumption, cost, some of the other problems. And they, they wanted to build a 
better digital asset to solve some of these problems. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, uh, Rath Economy put this out. Palau released a positive report on the national payment system built in concept with Ripple using the XRP ledger, explaining the work of the continues important to note that stakeholders consulted list. It includes the IMF tech assistance team. So here you go. There's some really, you know, it, it, important people here on this list, right? Different types of banks, different types of institutions, Kings, Mini Mart, Scott King, Penthouse Hotel Restaurant, President of National Development Bank of Palau, Manager Bank of Guam, Corar Branch. Like I said, I'm going to get some of this stuff wrong. I do apologize. It's pretty clear indication that Ripple has had some, some level of of important contact with the IMF team in this project. The IMF is active throughout the region PFT. And you can see the IMF recommendations for the Palau stablecoin system addresses. I do believe Palau was a testing ground for all of this, right? If it works in Palau, it can work in the US. It can work in other places, all right? Directors recommended enhancing financial sector resilience by further monitoring asset quality as pandemic support measures expire and strengthening financial sector supervision in the national development bank improving the payment systems and addressing structural independencies including establishing a credit bureau which would also be important remember any type of these transactions you need aml and counter-terrorism or counter-terrorism financing checks, right? Uh, to be precise, many XRP fans have known about Ripple, has spoken with the IMF. With uh, This is evidence that Ripple's team has likely had important technical contact about implementation in the place both are involved at the Palau so far is, is, is please. So like you see the IMF, you see the World Bank, you see people of extremely big importance in the world working with Ripple. And uh, this video is brought to you by Margex. You can actually deposit all kinds of different crypto assets and use those crypto assets to trade futures and derivatives up to a 100x leverage, which is pretty insane. Different payment options are available. MasterCard, Visa, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and 152 others. You can register now to get up to 10 thousand dollars in bonuses i will leave my link down in the description where you can use it if you deposit up to a hundred dollars you will get fifty dollars back for free as well as you can use fifty percent of the bonuses to pay for your fees on the exchange looking forward to seeing how you do here you can also do copy trading if your skills are still developing and you want to follow some really good traders they have a whole platform that is dedicated to copy trading as well as if you're wanting to learn how to do all of this stuff there are definitely some places on markx site that you can learn how to do all of these different things thank you so much for watching let's get back to the video uh, man this is why I hold this asset. Look at this price glitch, $9 million for, for XRP. What would you do if XRP hit $9 million tomorrow? Obviously, like I, I would lose my shit, right? I would just, I would go to the mall next door and just buy like the, the entire mall, right? Like I would be like, you know, hey, here's $5 billion. I'll take this entire mall or I'll take this entire thing. JP Morgan Chase to accept XRP payments for credit cards and mortgage payments. This was news from a few weeks ago, but I just wanted to bring it up. I don't think I had covered it yet on this channel, but this talks about how JP Morgan moves affects the real estate market. Remember, you have Bank of Thailand, Fedwire, Bank of Indonesia, and how all of this money moves. You do need all of these banks to be working together. The real estate market stands to benefit significantly from JP Morgan's acceptance of XRP. Traditionally, real estate transactions have been bogged down by slow processes, times, high fees, and complex regulations, especially in cross-border deals. With the integration of XRP, these transactions can be executed more swiftly with reduced costs and transparency. Here is Jerome Powell, man of the Federal Reserve, the Fed of the Federal Reserve. Man, I can't speak English today. Here we go. We're also, as you know, investing heavily right now in building a new settlement heavily. system for instant payments in the U.S. Fed It'll now? be the first such major expansion of our core payment system since the 1970s. We found the case for this quite compelling uh, for consumers, businesses, and, and just ensuring that all financial institutions have access to the payment system. We're also, as you And have all access to have these payment systems, right? And Brett put this up, you know, some of these counts I follow and some of them I don't, but, you know, this is 
kind of speaks to what we were just talking about. As Federal Reserve use XRP globally, it says, yes, the Federal Reserve plans to take the ownership of Ripple XRP as a global payment solution. You can use XRP in the FedNow system. Personally, I don't think the US government is gonna go in and seize control of the XRP ledger. It is a global ledger. It's not owned by an American company. They could go in and, and maybe do something to Ripple, but I, I, I just don't see that happening, right? But I do see XRP being used on a massive scale. XRP is the next Bitcoin, but on steroids, $10,000 XRP to 10K. Let's play this. Many of these crypto assets are offered from places that I would call sunny places for shady people. Do you give an example? Well, I think we all know the kind of locations that we, where, that we are talking about. So we need to have a global framework to regulate this. It doesn't make sense to just have national approaches. I think this is truly global, global in nature. And so we have been working concretely, and then I'll stop, yeah, on updating our uh, regulations on global stablecoin arrangements mm -hmm. and coming forward with a new set of recommendations for what we call unbacked crypto assets or other crypto assets. They are now in the open for consultation. So we are looking forward very much for sort of the response. the first pitch of the panel, people. Yeah. And then we hope to finalize these two sets of recommendations by the summer of this year. To the moon, baby. To the moon. Migration to CHAPS to ISO participants should use these timelines to prepare for their own readiness for each relevant milestone for more details, right? The world is moving to instant payments, right? We're in 2024, by the end of 2024, into 2025, guys, we are going to be there with a lot of these payment systems. And they can use digital assets. They can use crypto, right? Out of all of the tokens that you hold, who has more partnerships with banks and central banks and institutions than, than Ripple and, and with XRP? Please, if you have that answer, please let me down in the, in, in the comments because I have researched crypto every day of my life for the last four and a half years, and I have not found one, okay? And there's going to be haters out there that hate against XRP and this and that, but that's always what happens, right? You're always going to get people that don't understand the technology, that FUD, that shit all over us. But at the end of the day, you and me will hopefully be sitting by the pool drinking our pina colada and the people that doubted us will be serving us our fucking drinks all right anyways thank you for watching i know this got so this got a little bit of at the end here but i'm so passionate about this assets class and i know you are too please like follow subscribe i'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers i can only do it with your help the amount of the amount of views on this channel, we do better views than channels with 100,000 subscribers because of people like you. My heart goes out to you. I really appreciate you from the, really the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for helping me grow on my crypto journey. I can't do any of this without your help. Aloha.